Hi everybody, <clears throat> Pops here. So I'm leaving here in the Pacific Northwest on 24th. I, um, it, it's just not the same place I remember it to, it to be. I think that I was fascinated by the deer running through the yard every day and the wild turkeys on, on the paths on the paths that I would walk. And uh, it's not like that anymore. So, um, uh, you know, I was uh, I was a Southwest boy, Southwest boy. I grew up in California, Southern California. And I worked my, almost my entire life my working life in Los Angeles. And I lived uh, 17 years in the high desert of Southern Cal. I lived uh, about five years in the Central Valley of California. <clears throat> I lived uh, about five years in the Moore Park area. About three years in Canoga Park. I've lived in Torrance, uh, all kinds of places. I've owned homes in, uh, let's see, Santa Ana, um, where was the next one? Palmdale, and then Oregon. <clears throat> and I miss the Southwest. I know. I've only been gone like a month and a half. And I really do miss the Southwest. So I'll be heading down there through Nevada because it is cheaper on fuel in California. And uh, somewhere along the way I'll probably stop at one of the RV places and uh, you know, parks and get uh, someone who services RVs. Uh, excuse me. To uh, come out and uh, uh, rebuild the carb on the generator. Uh, if I go down into Arizona without the carb rebuild, I, then I go to Quartzsite. Because I could stay down at uh, like Hassler's for two hundred dollars a month plus electric. Um, I would prefer to be able to stay in other areas of Arizona, explore, take a look at where I might want to buy into in Arizona, and build. I've looked at Adobe, I've looked at uh, doing that continuous pour thing with Adobe where they use plastic bags basically. Um, my father was in construction, you know, and he, he, the reason I'm not in it or wasn't in it is because he told me not to, a smart man too, because he ended up having to wear a hearing aid and had 20 melanoma operations because right? um, he was working outside in the sun and uh, <clears throat> I worked in, indoors in an office where I think a typewriter might have been or an adding machine would have been the uh, 10 key punch would have been the loudest uh, equipment and then uh, when the internet came around. Uh, excuse me. I went to work in the internet. In DNS administration. I was in that for like 10 years. Um, so indoor jobs, you know, quiet jobs is what I had. And at 71, no, I don't need a hearing aid. I am tired. Uh, I think I'm tired of being up here. I know that I would feel better down there. 
Uh, I might even get some of my activity levels back down there. I do not know that. But I, I know that uh, here I'm, uh, you know, like I may have dinner tonight in the form of breakfast because I haven't had any breakfast yet. Um, who knows? You know, I don't. I have no idea. And that's kind of the way that my life is every day here. This is, um, I forgot that the Pacific Northwest is kind of like it's a place where there's just not much going on. You know, it's like, there's more trees than there are people. Okay? Uh, if I was staying up in Oregon, which would be a big mistake. But if I was staying, to stay up in Oregon, um, well, it'd be kind of interesting. You know, but I'm not really uh, hell bent on that right now. I don't want to go that far up. Another 30 miles from where I'm at right now, if I wanted to, I would be inside Oregon in the Medford area. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm going down south and somewhere around the Reno area. I cross over on the state border into Nevada. And then I come down 395 and take that to 40 or whatever. And um, take it to 95. I mean, you know, a lot of choices come when you come back into Arizona. So to you, my friends that are still there in Arizona, yeah, I'm coming back, but let's keep it is secret, okay? I just don't want everybody to know about it. Um, oh, so anyway, yeah. I, I sit here and uh, I see, I watch, uh, you know, I'm on TikTok along with uh, YouTube and Instagram and whoever else. And, uh, I follow a gal who is, uh, her name is um, Laura Rosenbaum, and uh, she owns a uh, print shop in Indiana somewhere, and I, she and I have followed each other for a good couple of years. Well, her brother was Lex Luthor in Smallville, Michael Rosenbaum. And uh, so I've been watching it, but I haven't been talking to her lately. I will eventually say something to her about it. He's probably one of the best Lex Luthers I've, uh, I can remember. Um, yeah, because he brought some character to the role. Um, all right, so I've got uh, got to visit the trash can tomorrow. Oh, and I get paid on Wednesday, so I've got about sixty bucks between now and then. And then when I get paid on Wednesday, the first thing I do is I put one hundred dollars in the gas tank, in the form of gas, of course. <clears throat> Because I'm at a quarter of a tank, so that'll take me to three quarters at least. And uh, I'm ready to roll then at that point. I left the car in the tow dolly for the car on a side street. Because it, it's too much of a hassle towing that thing. Um, but it has taught me something. It's taught me that one, if I'm going to tow a car, it will be on a flat bed trailer with air brake or with brakes. 
So that's the sen standard six plug, uh, plug, you know, six wire plug that uh, activates the brakes on the on the trailer. And then the car could be a two or four wheel drive. And uh, what I'll probably get is I pick up a pickup pickup truck, small one. Um, and I'll st I'm going to stay at LTVA, so I'll have the truck there at LTVA along with the camper. And then, if I haven't got the trailer yet or registered or whatever by um, April, I'll have a tow company come out and tow the truck up to Hassler's and stay there for a while. Huh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, my, on my PC, if I get um, notifications on several different software packages, it tells me about it. <laughs> So that's what you were hearing. It was disturbing me. Anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> I figured I'll get another vehicle when I go down there. <clears throat> and uh, and then I got a different trailer. And with that truck and that different trailer and the tie downs, um, the car's not going anywhere. Yeah. The wheels will never hit the ground. And the trailer will help with the stopping of the RV as well. So I do have a few things I had you know, planned. Uh, I've got to re-roof the RV this year. Uh, I'm going to have uh, some paneling fixed out that needs to be fixed. And then... Well, one of these mobile RV techs will have them get me the locks for the doors, you know, the storage doors. A couple of them need new locks. Um, trying it with duct tape right now it doesn't do a good job either. Um, what else? Yeah, um, I'm going to make this more of a home. You know, and I resign myself to the fact that Look, I'm going to be living in this RV for the rest of my life until I'm just too tired <clears throat> to do it anymore. You know, um, which I, I almost feel like I'm getting that way now. Uh, it's a major fiasco for me every time. Well, I don't have the car anymore. So if, when I want to go shopping, I have to do it with the RV. And that means I gotta disconnect all the power, disconnect the water, disconnect the sewer, get everything capped up and all that the way that it's supposed to be. Um, every time I wanna go someplace. Which is why one of the first things I'm going to buy when I'm living out there on the desert, excuse me, when I'm living out there on the desert, is I will get the vehicle to get me into, uh, sorry, get me into Blythe because that's where I'll do most most of my shopping. I'll be damned if I'm going to go anyplace in Quartzhut for it's ridiculous. Like. I even like the laundromat better, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like the laundromat a lot better than the one in Blythe. Um, just personal choice. Every, everything is a personal choice. So I'm going to go now. But I wanted to let you know, one, I'm okay, and the sun's almost set. 
can tell by how dark it is in here right now. The sun is almost set. I probably will have breakfast for dinner, which will be bacon and then potatoes, bell pepper mixed, um, and then an egg. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and I'll get to bed early tonight. Well, lately I've been getting to bed about 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night, and then I catch myself getting up constantly through the night and walking from the bedroom all the way up here to the living room and back again and then go back and lay down, go to sleep some more. I don't know why I keep doing it. I guess I'm just antsy to get going. Um, could be that. See you later. Bye, everybody.